Four people were killed in dozens more injured in those storms, and the devastation in Canton is motivating those here in Central Texas to help out. Some in our area woke up early this morning and journeyed to the storm ravaged area to help. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne joins us now. Imani, why is this tragedy leaving so many eager to help out? Doug and Leslie, I spoke with the Lamb Passes man who faced several hardships in his life and was able to overcome them thanks to the help of strangers. Now that he's in a position to give back, he says he won't rest until he can help as many Canton residents as possible. Disturbing pictures coming out of Canton. After massive tornadoes swept through the area, killing four, injuring dozens over the weekend. Those numbers coming from the Red Cross and unfortunately expected to rise. Tragedy is nothing new to Lampasas resident Donny Kresnici. He lost everything in the Kosovo War in the 90s. He says the United States helped his country rebuild and now he wants to return the favor. I experienced that. I know how it is to lose everything. So from the bottom of my heart, I'm going over there today and just help those people whatever we can. Uh, so work right here, I mean, it's like I say, we have gathering like uh, 90 cases of water. With help from his community, Donnie gathered 90 cases of water, food and clothing donations all in one day and is personally driving them to Canton. If I can, I'm going to help. And if others can, why not? One toothbrush will help. One bottle of water will help them. The Red Cross is also pulling all of its resources to help those in need. They say over 200 people stayed in their shelter Sunday night, and they have crews on standby if more help is needed on the ground throughout the week. With the level of devastation that we're seeing, we will be on the ground for a while, feeding, clothing, you know, helping people get back on their feet, because a lot of these people have nothing left. Something Donnie says he knows won't change overnight, but he believes if everyone can donate just one item, it's a start. For more information on ways you can help Canton, visit our website. That's KCENTV.com. Doug and Leslie.